Hey, what's up everybody? Alpaca Kid of Productions doing another Fallout 76 video. In this video, I am going to be talking about the backpack that you need and also the mod that you need, depending on your uh, playing style. So, first of all, um, very recently I needed actually a larger backpack because most of the backpacks you'll have start with very, very crap um, carry capacity. And so I noticed that I still hadn't completed the order of the tadpole. Now, what you're going to have to do with that is basically show that you have got the scout values. There's a few little quests that you have to do. And then you have to complete uh, three of the tadpole badges. Now, once you've done that, you go to this location, which is Dolly Sod's campground. And then what you're looking for is the robot. The robot is the one that actually initially assigns you the task. So if you haven't already spoken to this lovely person here, that will unlock the quest. Um, normally filled with great uh, blood bugs and that, so you do get interrupted a couple of times. But once you've managed to complete that main part of the quest, the order of the tadpole, scout leader Treadley, I think is how you say it, will then uh, be nice and happy with you, give you some spill about how it wasn't like the good old days that the education was lost and all that. Um, as they do, these lovely robots sometimes waffle on for too much. But basically what he uh, she is going to say is that uh, you've turned from a little tadpole to a possum. I don't know how a tadpole turn, a possum turns into a tadpole or vice versa, but apparently that is what they say. And then once the spill has happened, you will unlock a new backpack. And of course, once you get the quest completed, you normally roll, you get something really crap like what I got, Exterminator's Wood Right Arm, which I'm never going to wear straight to uh, the uh, script roll that goes. But once you see it's completed, um, then it will give you what is called the good old Pioneer Scout Tadpole Backpack. Now, what that one is, is rather than either the 5, 10, or if, of course, at level 50, uh, you're up to 30, what this is actually going to do is give you a carry weight of 60. Now, there is one important bit, because there are quite a few mods available. Now, for you to unlock the mods for this backpack, what you need to do is you need to be coming over to Camp Adams, and Camp Adams is, of course, over in this corner. And depending on how many of the quests that you have completed will allow you to be able to unlock the mods. Now, I was quite lucky. A friend gave me, actually, the main plan. But what you'll see is on the backpacks, there are for eight, there's a refrigerated, which means food spoils a bit less. You can get increased radiation damage or increased energy or you can actually get a high capacity mod. The one that I think is a lot more important is this one, the backpack armor plated mod. What this does for my backpack is once you've learned it, then what you need to be doing is going over to your workbench. And then once you arrive uh, at a workbench, then of course you will see that you're able to craft uh, the particular backpack. Now, excuse me, I'm in my swimwear because I just completed my little tadpole swimming quest. So you've got the small backpack, which gives you five, and then the standard backpack. You're going to create a level 50, okay? So that knocks it up, of course, to carry weight of 60. And then, once you have created it, um, then what you're going to need to do is go into Modify. And what you'll do is you will see the backpack here. And you can add your normal mods, but the one that I like is armor plated. What that's doing is give me an extra 90 damage resistance. Now, I do lose 30 of the carry weight. However, I feel that is pretty important. Now, some people have the grocer's one, which, of course, gives you a spoil reduction. Um, or, sorry, the weight of less than 90 uh, percent, which again, if you carry a lot of food, then great. But there are lots of perks out there that means you don't need to carry that much food. Then, of course, you can add whatever extra ones you've got for the sides. I normally choose one of the vault survivors, and then I like my gold dipped grenades. So, hope that's a help. Um, please let me know in the comments because you are a very, very good community. Please let me know in the comments below what you think is your favorite backpack mod. You know, is it that one? What's your favorite look as well? Like, do you like the safari? Um, I prefer the Gorilla, I think that's really cute, but then, of course, the Colossus one also looks really good. But let me know in the comments down below, what's your favourite backpack? Has this helped you, or is this just pure common sense? Thank you very much for watching, you have a good day. Bye-bye, people.